making a huge donation. It's not just one, but two local food pantries to help fight hunger, particularly over the holidays. Here with more on the big donation and how you can help with what they have as a food recovery program. We have the CEO and founder of the ranch, Max Wade, and a student there, student leader actually, Teresa Ramirez. Good morning to both of you. It's good, good to see you. Good morning. Okay, so uh, before we get into the big donation, exactly what you do there, what you do as a student leader, let's talk about Gallup and Grace and what you all do just in general so people know real sure. quick. Well, Gallup and Grace, uh, we're a youth rancho in Rio Rancho, and uh, our purpose is really about getting kids out and having them experience a farm and ranch type life and, and understand the origins of their food, where food comes from, being part of that, taking, you know, raising that livestock. And, uh -huh. and uh, you know, something that Teresa is involved in is our, uh, our junior leadership program where we have kids are actually leading other kids and teaching them about the whole process. That's awesome because I, I think, Teresa, you know a lot of people, particularly kids now, they uh, yes, where does food come from? The grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But there's a big process that goes in behind it, and it's a lot of people's livelihoods in this country. It really is. I mean, um, so many people, uh, you know, the farmers and ranchers that are out there behind the scenes that are, yeah. that are growing this food for us, um, it's something that uh, gets missed a lot. And okay. uh, the hardworking folks in, in our country and our world that are doing this, and that's something that we're trying to, to pass on to the mm -hmm. younger generations. The good, good, good deal. Okay, so now let's talk about this huge donation that you all uh, are getting ready to make. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Uh, we, uh, we do a food recovery program with Albertsons right now. We're partnering with them. What we do is we collect uh, their produce that uh, is past date or or is not really consumable by people anymore. It's a little and, beat up looking. Yeah, it's, it's perfectly fine, but people just honestly don't want to buy it. You got it. exactly, and uh, but it's not, it's not, it shouldn't go to the dump. Right. We can use it, and uh, and we do. We uh, at the end of this year, we'll have collected over 200 tons of this that would have gone to the landfill. 200 tons of food that would have literally just gone to waste. It would have just gone to waste. Yep. What's amazing is that we can actually throw out 200 tons of food, and we look around and see how many hungry people well, there and, are. And that's not that's not even scratching the surface. In our country, it, it's it's somewhere around the the realm of 400 million tons wow. uh, of food that we throw out okay. all so the time. You, so you get this food, you get it from Albertsons, and then you raise animals on right. it. Right, so then we take that back to the ranch and we feed it to our animals. It, everything from chickens uh, to pigs, um, cattle, goats, everything, in it, we'll eat it and consume it. And uh, so what happens then is we take this food that was going to be trash and we convert it now to healthy, sustainably grown meat. Mm -hmm. And uh, the end product for us is that we're able to, we, we try to get the funding so that we're able to donate that food to, to fight hunger in New Mexico. Right now, New Mexico has the highest uh, childhood hunger rate in, this, in the nation. We do. And uh, for us, uh, you know, we're focused on kids. And um, for uh, it's kind of a travesty to us that the kids are, that we have such a large hunger rate. Uh, so next week, um, we have two presentations. We'll be pre presenting uh, a total of about 14 or 1,500 pounds of, of meat. That's pork and beef. Mm -hmm. And uh, that we'll be splitting that between St. Felix Pantry and Rio Rancho, and uh, we'll be at the. Uh, um, um they got the, uh, the the deal on the Mayflower. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Clear Channel Radio. We'll be out there too. Thanksgiving next week. on the yeah. Mayflower, and yeah. we'll be donating the rest of that food to uh, Storehouse Albuquerque. Okay, very cool. So, so Teresa, I mean, what's it mean for you to be able to get involved in this process and help uh, be a big part of making this donation possible? I mean, for me, you know. It, I guess it's a, a, a rewarding experience to kind of, you know, be able to help out the community that way and then just like interacting with the kids and in the beginning I wasn't, you know, too um, excited to be working with animals because I wasn't really an animal person but after my mm -hmm. first day there was just like this newfound love and passion to work with animals because it's it's really nice to, I mean, I myself was like a kid because I got to learn about yeah. like the food and <laughs> where it all comes from, things like that and then just being able to educate the kids and kind of teach them you know, where our food comes from and how happy it makes them to be able to interact with animals and just, you know, learn about that kind of stuff. So what do you do with the animals? Uh, do you feed them? Do you take care of them? Well, my job um, towards the end of the summer was to lead our feeding sessions. Okay. So we'd split the kids up into groups and then we'd take them to the animals and we kind of explain to them where our food came from and what we do with it. And then they'd get to put the food in buckets and go dump it out in their pens. Then we let the animals run loose inside and the kids would be so excited and the kids mm -hmm. get to feed them. Yeah. You know, with the goats, they pick up corn and lettuce and greens and feed them by hand. You know, uh -huh. It's a very fun experience for the kids. That's awesome. And you get to be a part of it. And, and what you brought here is just a little sample of some of the food you get uh, from Albertsons that they're kind enough to donate to. Right. Yeah, that's kind of an example of what we pick up every yeah. day. And, uh, we, we pick up close to uh, 2,000 pounds of food every day just from, uh, we've got four Albertsons that we're working with right now and, and uh, we hope to expand that to, to take 
take in a whole lot more just uh, once we've got the resources to do it. And you know, how important is, it, so that food basically helps other other stuff become food. How important is it for the, the shelters to get, because I know they always get, they always ask for like the non-perishables, but to actually get a really right. good meat. Well, that's, a, that's one of the things, if you talk to most of the food banks and food pantries, uh, protein is one of the mm -hmm. hardest things for them yep. to come by. One, because it's so expensive to, to actually purchase and, and to produce, and so, um, our experience with food banks, we've, that we've done this uh, a couple times now, is that that is kind of one of those things that um, they don't normally get and it's a really great thing because uh, they can add a, a whole lot of protein to the to the meals that they're giving yeah. out and um, that's a big deal for people. Yeah, it is something a lot of people who are um, kind of like food insecure, right. they lack, they lack the protein. So, Max, Teresa, thank you so much for coming in. If you want to find out more about what they do over at Gallup and Grace, maybe how your kids can get involved too, become a student leader, head to our website at krqe.com. And I think we're, we're hoping to have more with you all next week when you're out at Thanksgiving on the Mayflower and actually make these big, big, big presentations. Good right. stuff. All right. Thanks again thanks for all you do. Appreciate it. It's good to see you. 630 now. We'll be right back.